you may be able to start drinking alcohol on public streets if Governor Hutchinson signs a bill sitting on his desk. It passed both the House and Senate, and THV 11's Erica Ferrando explains how it would allow cities to decide if they want to designate public drinking districts. Have a beverage in one area, walk outside to the next place. Adults in Arkansas may soon be able to walk the streets with a drink in hand if Governor Asa Hutchinson signs Bill 492, sponsored by Senator Trent Garner. You could set a designated area that's heavily controlled and heavily regulated where people could walk from establishment to establishment with alcoholic beverages. It allows cities in wet Arkansas counties to designate entertainment districts where you could drink outside within certain boundaries. To a person who's having a, a beer in a, in a restaurant can then take that outside and enjoy the music outside. Gabe Holstrom with Downtown Little Rock Partnership says this would be similar to what you'd see on Beale Street in Memphis or the Power and Light District in Kansas City. The River Market District of, of Downtown Little Rock is prime as a prime location and is very well suited uh, for this type of setup. This bill would allow each city to decide when and where adults could drink alcoholic beverages on the streets. It's going to be up to the local cities to determine you know, what rules and guidelines go into it if there's certain hours or certain days. It offers local control, so the designated area may be permanent or temporary. And they could sell alcoholic beverages on the street in those places where you could, you know, grab a beer before you go to the next place. Both Little Rock and North Little Rock's mayors tell us they support this. I've had Little Rock, Fayetteville, Hot Springs, El Dorado, Pine Bluff ask me about these kind of things. The bill is on Governor Hutchinson's desk, ready to be signed into law. I don't anticipate the governor to veto it. The conversations I had with the governor's office seem to be positive. Erica Ferrando, THV 11 News.